welcome to the onboarding video on how to use Steri-Date. This video will help you learn how to use Steri-Date whether you have the PC or kiosk version. Double click on the Steri-Date application to get started on printing your labels. First, log in by selecting the desired category on the left hand side of the screen. Each category is color coordinated. For load control, select the yellow load labels category. As you can see, the tabs above represent the sterilizer you will be using. Select the sterilizer of the day, as well as the load number of the day. Select how many labels you want and hit print. To capture expiration dates for batteries, select the red batteries category. The tabs represent the expiration days which will help indicate when it needs to be recharged. The label will print out the recharge on date. For load temperature sterilization, select the green category. The tabs above represent the sterilizer you will be using. Select the sterilizer of the day as well as the load number of the day. Select how many labels you want and hit print. For steam, steroid test, select the blue category. The tabs above represent the sterilizer you will be using. Select which test you want to use. Select how many labels you want and hit print. For ENV title, out of order, select the orange category. This category will capture documentation of the sterilizer that is out of order. Select the appropriate cycle, then select how many labels you want and hit print. For loaner trays, select the purple category. The tabs can be organized by vendor names. The buttons will represent the doctor. Select the appropriate doctor, select the procedure, select how many labels you want and hit print. Up to two printers can be connected to Steri-Date if printing different label formats. To make changes to Steri-Date, log in as admin. Capitalize A, followed by lowercase dmin. Then once you are logged in, select the settings button. Be sure to check your printers are connected. It should say either idle or connected. Your printer will arrive in kiosk mode. This prevents operators without admin rights from exiting the Steri-Date software. Based on your preference, this option can be disabled to allow for anyone to exit the software easily. You can do this by unchecking kiosk mode. Click done and the exit bar will appear on the upper right corner. Right now, we are in edit mode and we can begin making changes to tabs and buttons on your Steri-Date. If you would like to make changes to your load labels, select the load button and edit the information. Then select done when you are finished. You can select the category to make changes to your tabs and edit the information. Make sure to double click the category to open it up. Select OK once you are done and continue as you desire. To make changes to the buttons within each category, tap it to edit the information. Be sure to select OK once you are done and continue as you desire. To edit loaner trays, select a current or new button to edit any additional information. Select sets if you desire multiple trays. Example, one of two labels will print. To create new users, select settings button and then select users. 
Select new user. Create a user ID for the operator. Sterydate provides password protection for different users, but it is not mandatory to add. There is an option to give admin access. Be sure to select done once you have completed creating the new user to ensure the data will be saved. Note, all categories, tabs, and buttons can always be changed if label is no longer in use. While the printer is on, press the pause button for two seconds. Both LEDs will change to orange. LED1 and LED2 will begin to cycle through colors. Wait until LED1 turns orange and LED2 starts blinking green. Once LED2 starts blinking green, press the feed cancel button. The labels automatically feed.